Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. Kevin here. Ron and I are on our way to Hardy Lakes Park in Hardy County. He's behind me in his Tacoma, pulling the trailer. It is Saturday morning around 9.30 and I don't think we've ever gotten anywhere this early in the day before. It's really strange. Uh, we woke up, went to uh, Fat Jack's in Lakeland for breakfast, loaded up the trucks, went to Publix, and uh, luckily I only live about 30 minutes away from here, 28 minutes or something, so it was a pretty short drive. But we're about to pull in here, check in, and then uh, we'll start filming when we start setting up. We're inside the park right now. Here's one of three lakes. And there are some trails that go around the lakes. Looks like we're actually gonna drive through the edge of the lake. So I haven't done this in over a year. So it's time to check in for roll call. So go ahead and leave a comment. What city, what state, or what country if you don't live in the US. So go ahead and leave a comment now and we'll see where everybody's from. We're gonna drive around the lakes, hit some of the trails, and ultimately wind up at a primitive campsite and set up. First impression of this park, very beautiful, very large. Uh, these nice trails, you can pull over anywhere, set up a hammock, fish, you know, cook lunch or eat out, have a picnic, a lot of pavilions. So we've come to the second lake over here. This is the first lake that we started at. I'm not sure the acreage, but I'll uh, try and get the information for you guys later. It's a very popular area for bass fishing. This is old mosaic phosphate land, so I'll have to get tested for radiation later. So here's our campsite. It's really breezy today, but other than that, it's beautiful. It's about 61 degrees. We're just setting up right here. It's gonna be, I think there's gonna be possibly almost 20 of us tonight. Joseph came down here Friday night, he's set up over there. He's got a really nice, unique uh, diesel Jeep Grand Cherokee. But we're setting up right now, and then uh, we're gonna disconnect uh, Ron's truck from the trailer, and we are going to uh, go around and explore. There's a lot of boardwalks, a lot of nature to see here, so. We're gonna enjoy it since we got here so early. We got camp set up and we are riding Ron's Tacoma and we are looking for the boardwalks, which that might be, there's no sign. At least it doesn't say anything. So we think that might be one of the boardwalks. So we found the boardwalk and it is a beautiful breezy day. Clear skies, absolutely no clouds. There's surprisingly a lot of uh, biking paths, hiking trails, and quite a lengthy boardwalk, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna walk up this little observation deck. So far, we are really impressed with Hardy Lakes. You're pretty much always guaranteed to see deer, wild hogs, even in the middle of the day. Lots of varieties of birds. And it's very clean. There's no bottles laying around or floating in the lakes. There's no trash bags or anything. Very impressed. And man, just look at that sky. It is very peaceful out here. So we just saw two large deer at the end of this uh, boardwalk right here but I was like a millisecond too slow on turning on the GoPro. So two deer down. Let's see how many more deer we can find and maybe some hogs. So we got some deer tracks. Looks like somebody had a dog maybe. There's a, there's a couple different. Ron thinks one of these might be a uh, otter. I don't know, man, that's a pretty big paw print. That's, that's probably a dog. Over here. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that one right there is, but it's pretty back in here. There's a lot of wildlife. We kind of just scare it off before we get the cameras though. But it's a lot of little wetlands. And then over here on this side is pretty dry and you can tell where hogs come through here and just root it all up. So the deer count is up to three, but the problem with the GoPro is there's like a four or five second delay when I push play. So. Most of the times the deer is already gone before I can get them on video. 
but I do recommend coming out here. If you do, bring a mountain bike. There are miles and miles of just walking paths. So we're gonna get off trail a little bit. I think we're gonna walk across this. So this is Payne's Creek. If you walk through the woods deep enough, you will find it. And this creek is known for having, there's a lot of deer prints over here. This, this creek is known for having a lot of fossils in it, a lot of shark's teeth. So if you look back through the videos, you'll find one of Nicole and I uh, going fossil hunting uh, from the canoe with uh, Sammy the German Shepherd. We found approximately 160 shark's teeth in probably 40 minutes or less. And I bet if we came back here with the shovel and the sifter, I bet there's a lot of muck. That's the problem. You got to find a part of the river where there's there's gravel because there's different layers. Oh, over there might be pretty good. All right, here's to uh, not getting lost. All right, so we made it back and Jesse's here. Beautiful day to take the street glide out. All right, so some of y'all might remember when we camped up at Tiger Bay in Daytona Beach, uh, we cooked up a huge piece of pork. Well, this is actually the other half to it. It's been in my freezer. When we bought it, it came with two eight or nine pound section of uh, pork butt in the uh, package. So here's our other half and we're gonna go ahead and cook it up. We're gonna add in We've had it soaking for about a day now in apple cider vinegar. Um, now we're just gonna dump a bunch of seasonings in there. And we're actually gonna cook this in the Dutch oven at first and then set it on the grill grate later to kind of char up the side. So look how much stuff is in this refrigerator. This is a 75 quart refrigerator. So it's bigger than the one that's usually in my truck. But Ron's got a slap full of, uh, let's see we got twice the asparagus and just all kinds of just, all kinds of eggs, breakfast stuff, stuff. What are we cooking for dinner tonight? Oh, uh, we're gonna be cooking some pulled pork with some fried okra and some fried corn nuggets with some asparagus. And what we're gonna do with the pork is, is we're gonna take some of this Asian chopped salad and we are going to put it in a tortilla with the pulled pork. So here's a little bit of an update. It's been a few hours. We have Vinny with this awesome truck camper we have Ty this Lexus he just got here he's putting his rooftop tent up we have Steven you guys have seen him in a few videos with his Dodge truck rooftop tent and over here we have Joseph this custom trailer Rooftop tent, awning, complete with an annex. And he has a diesel Jeep Grand Cherokee. Complete with a six inch lift. So here's an update. It's been about five hours on the fork. Approximately eight to nine pounds, maybe. Oh, that's cool. So Ryan, CJ, and Cameron are gonna get some square grouper for uh, dessert. Some bluegills. All right. Unfortunately, not a pretty sunset tonight, but. As you can see earlier, we are right on the water. So we got some okra in there. Still working on the uh, pork. <laughs> so here's the first two cuts. Pork has been on heat for probably six hours or so. Needs to cook a few more minutes. So the asparagus is off the fire. Here's the second attempt at the pork. Looks pretty promising this time. Oh, it looks so good. Over here, we have okra 
and corn nuggets. So dinner's finally done. Our pork's done and our side items are done. We had some asparagus, but uh, when chopping up the pork, uh, somebody set a pan on a brick so it wasn't stable and it fell over. Yeah, I don't know who did that. That's so what weird. we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tortilla here. We are going to add a smidge of barbecue sauce. We are going to brush it on real quick. Then we are going to add some pork. Place our pork right here in the middle. Then we are going to add some of this. This is Asian salad. So we're gonna slice this bag open. I like the sound of that. Set this aside. Add a little bit of some Asian salad. Then inside the bag, here, there is some little crunchies, so we're going to slice that open. Just add a few of these to give it a little bit of an extra crunch. Sprinkle it on there. Now we're going to roll up our tortilla here. Roll it up, slice it in half. Perfection. Look at that pulled pork wrap. And we also have fried okra, and we have corn nuggets. Have you had corn nuggets, Dylan? Yes. You have? Okay. From Bono's. From where? Bono's. Where's that? Do you want to try one? Somewhere. So it's about 1 20 in the morning and it's time to wrap it up everyone's heading to bed and it's gonna be 41 degrees in the morning So it's really early in the morning and it's really cold and Dylan's gonna make a mountain man breakfast for everybody. So we got the eggs cracked, cut up some potatoes in there. Now it's time to cut up a little bit of onion and we got the uh, charcoal chimney going. So just checking in on the mountain man breakfast. We got the potatoes, we got the onions and we added the bacon in there. Once that starts getting cooked down, I'm gonna add the uh, eggs and the cheese. All right, so it's that time. Dylan's gonna put the eggs in. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll put that back in the fire for a few minutes and you can put the cheese on. Okay. It is actually warmed up really fast. You don't even need a sweater anymore. It feels awesome, so. Here's the breakfast. Dylan put the cheese and everything on there. Final touches. I really like using these liners in the Dutch oven. Uh, the only downside is uh, it's gonna add to the cost of each camping trip. So for your breakfast, you can either use Jack Daniels or uh, Ty gave us some spicy sriracha chili hot sauce. What's that stuff? Um, this one is whiskey habanero hot sauce. Awesome. Thai juice. I used to carry the bottle, but it's just too much space. So I get the tiger just from Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. 
So breakfast was successful, and now it's time to start breaking down camp. It's funny how the wind's starting to pick up again. So everybody's pretty much done packing up. So it's time to start loading up and heading out and go home, wash all the radioactive dust off the vehicles and off our clothes and throw away our shoes. So uh, do not come out here at the Geiger counter. You'll probably uh, freak yourself out. So the wind is picked up again. It's kind of like a light switch. It's kind of weird. About nine o'clock in the morning, super windy and it goes till about 8.30 at night and then it kind of just stops. I said it would be a nice day to have the windows down if the air wasn't radioactive. So right now we're just exploring. This is a very, very large park. Very beautiful, lots of wildlife. We saw deer walk right past us last night around the fire and this morning there were deer as well. Very beautiful waking up, there's fog coming over the lake. You couldn't even see the lake. A lot of wildlife. No owls, as far as we can tell, no raccoons or anything like that, but as far as uh, hogs, deer, birds, things of that nature. So I've lived in the same half square mile my entire life, and for as much exploring and motorcycling and jeeping and everything that I've done, I never knew that this was 28 minutes from my house. I never knew this existed. I don't know how long this park's been an uh, actual county park. It was donated by Mosaic. but. Uh, if it wasn't for my buddy Travis coming out here and camping and telling me about it, I probably still wouldn't know it's here to be honest with you. So it's time to end this video. Uh, March 13th, 14th, and 15th, we're all going to be camping on Peters Point up uh, near Jacksonville, Florida. So if you want to go beach camping, head that way that weekend. Other than that, this was a really nice campground. I'm very impressed and I'm so excited that it's only 20, uh, 28 minutes away from the house. Not excited about, supposedly it's all radioactive and everything, so gotta wash all the dust off the trucks and wash your clothes and all that stuff, supposedly. But if anybody in the Orlando area can weld aluminum, uh, we gotta hire somebody to uh, weld some mounts in here and some brackets for like roto packs and some other stuff that we have just laying in the garage. And today we're gonna clean out the trailer, organize it a little bit take the roof rack off and we're going to be putting the rooftop tent on Ron's truck for the beach camping trip. Because if you saw in the last video for the beach camping, this trailer is pretty heavy to uh, pull across the beach sand. It's really soft out there. So again, everybody, thanks for uh, watching the videos, the continued support. We have a lot of fun going out and making these videos and camping with everybody and meeting new people.